such that they may be targeted? And that's a key question that does need uh, resolution. In the few minutes I've got left, let me just uh, talk a little bit about the war in Ukraine and how this provides a real uh, case. It called on other states, it called on commercial providers to provide it with intelligence to provide it with information from their satellites. Uh, General um, Jay Raymond said that this uh, this Ukraine war is the first war where commercial space capabilities have really played a significant role. States are providing, well, companies are providing information to Ukraine in respect of uh, that armed conflict. What does that mean? Does that make those uh, does that make those tar- satellites targets? Well, the answer is yes. Under the law of armed conflict, if you're taking uh, if you're being used to uh, ensure uh, the the a military advantage for a belligerent, then yes, under the law of targeting, uh, they may be targeted. Does that mean that Russia does have a right to engage those satellites? Well, the Russian uh, government has said yes, and I don't think that they're wrong. If uh, if your enemy is getting supplied with commercial information that has military value, then yes, you lose your protection. But here's the thing. What we're finding is Elon Musk, who's uh, launched uh, uh, 2,900 satellites and is providing free satellite services to the Ukraine, uh, including supplying military information, that provides a lot of targets. That provides too many targets in some respects in order to deal with with that. So we don't see kinetic means of engaging those satellites. What we see is Russia using a lot of jamming and choosing to rely upon jamming those particular satellites. And that that is interesting because it's a grey area in the use ad bellum context of whether or not you cross a line of Article 24 or not. So my point being that what we're seeing in uh, the war in Ukraine in space is action and reaction, but a level of restraint in terms of dealing with uh, satellites uh, in armed conflict. And I think uh, I think that we will all draw some conclusions, the states will draw some con- conclusions uh, from that. I might have painted a pretty, I'm going to finish off now, I hope I haven't painted a, painted a pessimistic uh, picture. Uh, what I want to, uh, what I want to say, uh, is that the law of armed conflict operates to ameliorate violence and protect uh, civilians and civilian objects. And I think the challenge for uh, academics and the challenge for states is to determine with with a level of specificity, which we haven't quite seen yet from states, just how that is done. Uh, but it must be done. With that, let me uh, let me end <laughs> and. Uh, and open up for questions or whatever whatever happens next. <laughs>